course, we're going to learn how to make our food our medicine. Fire cider is a great way to get started with that. Originally started by herbalist instructor Rosemary Gladstar in the early 80s, it was a way to teach her students how food can help heal our bodies. So there's been many, many different variations on this fire cider or master tonic as you may see it also called. This is my favorite recipe and the one I use most often for my family. In our half gallon jar we're going to take two cut and peeled onions. You can use either white or yellow. Six crushed garlic cloves. Three cayenne peppers. You can also use jalapeno if you have that on hand or they're easier for you to find. Two tablespoons of dried rosemary and one noob about a thumb's length of fresh ginger peeled and cut into slices. We're going to add each of those pieces to our jar. and then we're going to cover it with apple cider vinegar. You want to make sure you're using apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it that's not pasteurized. You want the benefits from that as well. And then just pour your vinegar directly over your ingredients. cover and allow to steep for about four to six weeks. Every so often as you see it you want to just give it a gentle shake to keep items mixed up. After about four to six weeks of infusing your vinegar you're going to strain all the items out using a cheesecloth and you'll be left with this dark rich infused vinegar. You can also add two cups of honey to help sweeten that up a little bit make it a little less hot, for especially for younger kids. And a good dose to start with is about a quarter cup for adults three times a day as you're starting to feel symptoms or kind of feel icky. For younger kids, about a tablespoon three times a day. After about four to six weeks, you want to strain your fire cider. And at the first sight of a colder cough, I usually give about a quarter of a cup or about two ounces three times a day. You can mix that with extra honey if you want to for flavor. Some people actually like the hot spicy stuff. Mm. There's to your good health. Enjoy your food and let it be your medicine.